I would like to take this time to thank my subscribers for tuning in. Those who are new to the channel, please smash the subscribe button so that you can get further info and updates. As you can see, we're going to be talking about gunmen are getting bail to kill again, says cops. Commissioner of the Police Gary Griffin claims that people that is held with guns are being able to come out on bail. Judges are being too soft, he says. He says, in matters like this, we have to take it serious. It should have serious consequences for being whole with a firearm or ammunition. He said, if you look into the statistics, over 1,500 criminals are, are performing the same offenses again. So which means they are being arrested whole hell with guns released on bail and they're going back and be arrested again and also put on bail again he said we need to look into this when someone is held with a gun they need to do some type of time we have to put serious measures he said because the, it's, it's like a a door that just keep a revolving door just keep opening and going opening and going people just come in with gun, gun charges and just walking out the door it's easy so they don't mind so they're going back and pick up a gun again he say you have to find a way to put a stop to it and he find the judges of Trinidad and Tobago is taking it easy on these criminals to the point that he believe it, it comes like it make it feel like you're on the justice is actually on the side of the criminals these criminals are getting away with with all type of stuff on the street that's why they don't really care because they get locked up for a couple hours and they're back on the street and they're back on the road and they're back to moving with their guns and guess what that is a danger to the community a danger to all the citizens of trinidad and tobago who is living by the rules of the land and the rules of the streets and and also the government the citizens that is law-abiding citizens their life is in danger because these youths coming right back to the streets they ain't getting lock up they ain't staying long people it have three people in trinidad right now probably been locked up for murder probably like 10 times or more and guess what haven't been sentenced on the back on the street and then when you look in the papers you see people getting arrested for two three years for simple little crimes or a man went in a, a, a jewelry store and snatched a chain and run bam three years but a man with a gun that could take a life is getting what bail and it's like it's a money making thing with these government people it's like they say yeah why we keep them in jail and guess what we make no money if we put a bail for ten thousand dollars and they pay it and they go back on the streets when they get whole again and they come back and they pay another ten thousand like twenty thousand so it's a money making thing these government is working on or what that's what it's beginning to start to look like because if you really want to clean up the country and fix the country when you as soon as you grab somebody that has firearms and and guns guess what you're supposed to use that opportunity to say you know what we sentencing this man we go make an example this man going to jail again you gain him at 10 years he go go and do that again this is what gary griffin is trying to say he say how could you stop crime when the criminals are not is not held they're not going to jail. They're not doing no time. They come back and they shoot. There's nothing to scare them to say, you know what? I don't want to do this crime because if I do this crime, I got to do this time. They know it's in no time. They come back out within days. And it shouldn't be like that. If you look anywhere around the world, that cannot happen. You do a crime, you're going to do your time. So Gary Griffin is trying to say they need to change certain rules. And he, the judges, has to understand that as well. If they care about the country... We have to have stricter measures for criminals that are doing offenses like that. Murders and gun dealing with guns and being caught with guns and stuff like that. We have to find a way to fix the system. Right now the system is broken. 
And everybody is just running with it, it broken. Nobody trying to fix it. Everybody saying, nah, don't worry, it break, but we go run, we go run with it. No. You have to fix it. If you want change, you have to make change. You can't be saying no, on your button and guess what? Or you're not studying the country, you're studying your pockets. Or we will put this man on bail and we'll get someone. So no. If you are judge, you're supposed to judge in the right way. If the man is innocent, the man is innocent. But if the man is not innocent, he has to pay the consequence of not being innocent. He has to pay the consequences of breaking the laws. Why are there rules and nobody is allowed to follow it? People could break the rules and get away with it. They need to respect the rules of the country. If the rule is not to, you're not supposed to have firearm on you, you're not supposed to. If the rule is you're not supposed to go and break into... Like, subscribe, and share for the hot topics.